really see that essentially all of that energy for transportation today is coming from oil, it's coming from petroleum. We've talked a lot about the challenges that we have with petroleum in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, all that carbon that we, you know, we've been looking at, that we've been tracing. This is why GOVRC is so focused on liquid biofuels because it's where we can make a difference. about how much grass and hay or whatever a cow is eating every day, these ants the, as a whole colony are collecting about the same amount of leaves. But what's really cool about them is that they don't eat the leaves, they feed the leaves to a fungus. The fungus is really good at breaking down the leaves, much better than ants or you know, humans are at breaking down leaves. And that's really why we're interested in them in GLBRC as well, because this fungus in association with the ants have been degrading leaf material for so many millions of years. Our role, our mission, is helping people understand our interdependence on plants, because it's fundamental. And the research really shows that a lot of students go through their entire K-12 sequence without really interacting with plants. They can feel heat, they can see light, they can hear sound, but we have to teach them how to look for chemical potential energy. We put a yellow twist tie, on every high energy bond. What do those, will those twist ties represent? The pile of twist ties that you're going to have at the end of all this. The light and the heat from the combustion reaction. They work incredibly hard to bring you wonderful exercises to take back to your classrooms and really use and really get the concepts across and make it relevant to you.